Yo, what's going on my people? I have to let you guys know right now, this is my second attempt at recording this. This is going to be a truth-filled one indeed. Now, we're going to be talking about XDC and a couple current events that are happening, but the media that I have to show you today, I'm telling you, you need to pay attention. As you guys can see right here, this is more so an illustration of kind of what's actually happening in the United States of Europe. We're hearing from Big Boss Lagarde how we need to bring down inflation, but really it's almost as if it's virtual reality because we know that inflation is not going down i want you guys to see what she really has to say about inflation and climate change listen to this climate change affects inflation and inflation is the beast that all central bankers whether they wear a green jacket or not want to tame and discipline number two because it affects our balance sheets whether it's a three trillion or a seven trillion balance sheet, it is affected by climate change. Hold on. So this woman is telling all of these power elite that climate change is causing inflation or that inflation is causing climate change. I have no idea. But you guys understand they're trying to feed us just about anything. Now, speaking of that, guys, of course, if you are new to our channel, we're not really a conspiracy channel or anything like that. But we do want to tell you guys the truth. Doing my digging out there, you could see, and I'm telling you what, Twitter is coming up with more and more truth. You guys can see that this is archive footage of Stanley Kubrick that he requested to be published after his death. And a cover letter saying that with the cooperation of U.S. governments and NASA, we faked the moon landings. All moon landings were faked, and I filmed them all. Now, again, if this is the first time you've ever heard of this, this is more so like real truth news that, yes, Stanley Kubrick it did, in fact, uh, uh, film a lot of these landings, but I want you guys to see the treacherous stuff that's out here on Twitter. This readers add context. This is behind the scenes footage of the making of the movie First Man with Ryan Gosling playing Neil Armstrong. The footage has deliberately been made blurry in order to deceive. Excuse me. You guys can see this is legitimately, you know, older footage here that you have Stanley Kubrick truly being in the clip and this footage, guys. So long story short, you definitely want to be uh, aware. Now, next one right here, I think this is another reason why I personally believe this. This, I, you know, guys, I'm telling you what, when I recorded this thing the first time, things shut down. Look at this. Marky B, big shout out to him, Marky B. Matt Hamilton, are you condoning this behavior? Now, first of all, I want to give you guys a background. This individual right here is a XRP developer, the first one that was trying to let you guys know that XRP isn't ISO. Listen to this. He says, Matt Hamilton, are you condoning this behavior? What does the XRP community think about this? Matt Hamilton says, he's he's talking to someone saying, uh, so they don't end up as confused and bigoted as you are, so they get to understand that people have the right to love whoever they want to love. Sharif came back and said, riding a bike with your D out is acceptable around kids. Matt Hamilton says, yes. You see this? Yes. I don't care anything that you say after yes. That is disgusting. OK, I'm a father of three. I'll beat anybody down if you do this right here around my kids. I don't care what it is. OK, but Marky B came back and said, are you on this list? Are you on this list, Matt, with these here uh, PDOs here with Epstein? Interesting developments for the XRP community. <laughs> All right. Now to get to our, you know, crypto news here to lighten some things up uh, on XDC. I really want to share this with you guys. Big news. They're announcing their collaboration with BitTrue. Seriously, if you guys don't know about BitTrue, it's the primary exchange that you can get mostly all of your XDC network coins. Those are your XRC20 coins. So if you guys don't know, if you've ever heard of like, for example, you know, GBEX, XWAP and all of those different XDC coins, you can grab those on BitTrue. Now, also, I want to tell you guys about this thing. I mean, this this conference is going to have some big names speaking at it. I'm really excited. You're going to have a tool Kakade co-founder director of the or the founding director of the XDC network. Ritesh Kakad is going to be there. Quincy Jones is going to be there. You know, the uh, the star developer of the XDC network. Right. Andre Casterman will be there. He's a swift. Uh, the, you know, he's he's really the reason, you know, when we have XRP in Ripple, Andre Casterman is the one that's custodian in the XDC. DC network. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what Andre has to say. You're going to have Dr. Heisbach. He's the head of research over at Uphold. So he's going to be there. Just really excited to see some of the speakers there, guys. Use the link in our description. Get yourselves your tickets. Now, 
I want to show you all some media that's actually coming out from JP Morgan here. JP Morgan, so you have to get your involvement so you can understand where is JP Morgan involved with XDC? All right. So as you all can see, it's JP Morgan's involvement with scanning using AI to verify each and every one of those trade documents. Now, of course, if you don't know, obviously XDC is going to be used for digitizing trade, but you want to know who's going to be working with them. Obviously, the network itself is a great smart contract capable ISO compliant, you know, network. But you really have to think about what you have here in Nigio. And Nigio is going to be the actual, if you will, platform for those digital documents. And then this clear eye is going to be verifying each and every one of those digital documents while XDC is going to be handling, for example, uh, asset tokenization, you know, those things such as that. So I want you all to see just really how it's all going to work together. Trace originals are basically, again, those digital documents of the paper based transactions. Long story short, again, JP Morgan getting involved, but they, you know, they're they're going to come in under the guise of something else. Now, guys, I want to take this time to understand if you're keeping all your XDC on the exchanges, use the link in our description for a decent wallet. Really want to look into yourself for biometric security when it really comes down to it, guys, because honestly, when it really comes down to uh, 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 post regulation, you definitely want to make sure that you have your XDC in the vault. As you guys can see, free shipping for all of our US, UK, and Japanese listeners. We're going to keep this in your face as long as you guys can save some money and get free shipping. Now, I want to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson here. So, we just went over how JP Morgan is involved with trade finance. I want to give you a little bit of a history lesson on the prototype of XDC. It's called XDCE. Now, you can see that this came out in 2018. Team. Zenfin launching XDCE. I want you guys to see the name that was actually involved here. If you guys don't know, okay, XDCE is basically the prototype of the main net of what we have now. But I want you all to see kind of, you know, what, what was put, put here. Zenfin developed a highly scalable, permissioned, commercial grade blockchain architecture that has the best features of Bitcoin, Quorum, and Ethereum. Quorum. Quorum. I want you guys to see this. If you've never heard of Quorum, I'm going to give you the background here. That's JP Morgan's blockchain. Consensus acquires JP Morgan's Quorum blockchain. So you can see back in 2018, 
they were created out from Quorum. You can see kind of in a sense, it was combining all of those best features of Quorum. There's there's uh, obvious, uh, there's flow evidence out there that shows you that connected between XDC and JP Morgan. Consensus, um, but basically long story short, back in 2020, back in 2020 was letting you guys know consensus did uh, get uh, absorbed uh, into, or excuse me, quorum got absorbed into consensus. So you can see JP Morgan involvement here with consensus. Now, next up, I want to give you guys this background here. Another one out from Cryptonair D. Big shout out to him. So this is a new listing here. Like we uh, showed you all, BitTrue has listed another XRC20 token here, Fathom. Fathom is basically, again, a, a, a trade finance tool, but it's basically like a stable coin that could be used here. I want to actually show you all the actual um, uh, profile here, of course, so you guys can understand Fathom. It's it's basically XDC DeFi, but I'll show you it right here. This is the this is the platform here, Fathom. Basically, what you can do is earn as you you could stake, for example, you could stake and get ten percent interest on your Fathom using BitTrue, but you can also get involved with their uh, app here, and you guys can receive gains, if you will. So I'll try to leave you all a link in the description. Basically, you see you would launch that app. It, it's a D app. You would, you see here uh, right now, the TVL is around 613,000 that's in. And you can see that the FXD price is actually over pegged. It's actually over a dollar. There's 296,000 of them that are in existence. So of course you guys, if you wanna get involved, there's a Dow here and as well, there's a DEX. You can see Swap Fathom, you can see XDC, you could swap for your FXD or Fathom here. Let's say for example, you had 3000 XDC that you may want to swap. Let's see if it, would update yeah, probably not but you all could see there's even there's uh, even crossed crossed uh, X, uh, USDT over here you can see and like I was saying that FXD and yeah fathom needs to connect but all right excuse me so moving forward here like we're talking all the all about trade finance I want you all to see a little bit more about trade tech uh, you can see right here with the rise of the fourth industrial revolution technologies the mean to facilitate international trade is growing digitization advanced tech has the potential to significantly reduce processing times as xdc holders i just want you guys to understand how the world economic forum clearly sees trade tech now trade tech in itself is already a platform that's used on xdc so they're basically saying the promises of trade tech policy approaches to harness trade digitization. I don't want to just get too far into that with you guys, but long story short, I want you all to see how the WEF is involved with your XDC. With all of that being said, guys, you could see that really us at 30, excuse me, at three cents for this technology, we are so early at a $431 million market cap. Right now, there's about $2.2 million that have been exchanged for XDC in the past 24 hours. So we're really looking forward to it. This is actually a very organic chart. I'm so excited for all the utility that's gonna be happening for XDC, truly, truly. Guys, seriously, we already had an all-time high of around 18 cents. You think we're gonna stay at three cents for the rest of this existence? Very doubtful. Like I said, guys, actually, if you wanna get yourself some, we'd recommend uh, um, uh, bit true would be one that you can grab some i believe they're taking on a majority of the volume yes bit true kucoin and gate are the top three places that people are really buying their xdc i appreciate you guys really making it to this part of the video don't forget to use our link for your biometric security save yourself some money and as well do not forget about xdce you can't forget where you come from all right my people but with that being said i'll holler at you later peace